Um, so tell me, so you had him at 14, 15, you're about 15. to be 15. You were still going from house to house at that time? Or no. were you living with his father? Never did that. Um, I had enough common sense to go back to my grandmother's when I was pregnant because I knew that I would need the, help. I would get the medical attention like it, that I needed as far as the rise to the doctor and you know, okay. things. So I did go back home during the time that I was, you know, right pregnant. Here. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. And yeah, we got a special guest in here today, man. She really don't need no introduction, man. Uh, if you uh, <clears throat> listen to music, uh, hip hop, man, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Uh, if you, uh, uh, if you, been watching all the things that's been going on a lot of times in media even to where the movement of mothers been moving together who's lost their son man uh this is little snoop's mother denisha ross yeah hey everybody how you doing <laughs> i'm good i'm good how are you, you guys good? doing man we're doing great man you know just thanking you for coming even to share this time with us man you know um, so tell me, so you had him at 14, 15, you're about 15. to be 15. You were still going from house to house at that time? Or no. were you living with his father? Never did that. Um, I had enough common sense to go back to my grandmother's when I was pregnant because I knew that I would need the, help. I would get the medical attention like it, that I needed as far as the rise to the doctor and you know, okay. things. So I did go back home during the time that I was, you know, right pregnant then. or whatever. And then maybe within months of having him, I knew it was just time to go, so we just, I left with him again. Where, Where was the dad? He was in and out of jail, but he was the type of guy, like if he didn't deal with me, he didn't deal with the kid. So mm. I didn't deal with him long after having birth. You know, I didn't, it was an abusive relationship. I really was just kind of, I felt bullied. And that was just anger just building up because it's like, who's going to protect me at this point? You got this 19-year-old beating on me, and nobody stopped them. Mm -hmm. So it was just a lot of things I went through, and it was just like mental, mental, you know, back-to-back -back trauma, back-to-back -back trauma. And I just knew, like, I, I had Snoop, and I needed to protect Snoop. That's all I knew. So, so I where just, did you go? You say you went? You we were, like, sometimes, um, like, I had family there. We're in a small town, so everybody knows everybody. You're talking about in, in Louisiana. Louisiana. Mm -hmm. So just family's house, friend's house. You With know, the but, baby. Yes, but mm -hmm. once I turned 18, I did, you know, get my own place because I was legal enough to do so. Before then, I just had to fend how I could. And were you working? I couldn't work. I was only 15. Right. I braided hair, though. I was about I to say, yeah. everybody got a hustle. Like yeah, you I did braid hair, and I used to steal everything that we needed. And mm -hmm. I never got caught and never got a record. Wow. You steal? What, wait, wait, that's what I like to get into. <laughs> <laughs> that's, why, that's why I come in because like she was too young you to know, work no, so she no, did I what she needed to do let me talk to her can I talk to her now <laughs> this ahead. is where I cut in that you were still in that where J.C. Penney's Kmart uh, the, uh, the, 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 the Safeway where was you at I done Kmart before I went to a successful with Kmart they caught you at Kmart something happened you know how you had to leave the stuff. I had to leave it. You know, that's kind of how it happened when you really yeah. steal and you'll go in there and, you know, you get your stuff and then somebody follow you. What you keep looking, right. looking at me for? <laughs> Why you following me around? It really, it really be a shadow over you in your mind to let the nigga follow me, man. But he might not even watching you, but you watching him. Right. And next thing you know. And you looking suspicious and that's really so what it is. So you be like, you know what, let me put this back for now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now we, um, like, I would steal sometime out of Walmart, depending on what it was, like what I would do is I'll go in the store, different stores. The mall was different, but sometimes I would go in the store and I would just grab something that was of value and I would just take it to the service desk to get a gift card mm -hmm. so that I can just purchase what I needed. Um, when it came to the mall, I, we would just like get people's bags that went shopping, actually went shopping, and then put those bags on our purse and just go in that particular store and fill them up and just walk out. Mm. So, and man, you you had nerve. You got more strong as you walked out. More days. <laughs> no, let me tell you what's so crazy is I remember being in Dillard's, and they cut the lights off, and the door was right there, but I already had everything that was in the area before, so I couldn't even steal nothing. Mm. Like what? But, yeah, I couldn't because I already had everything that was there because we were going so often. Yeah. Like, what do you, do you steal and you already got it? Mm. So you had a store or something like this, you'll come sell it to somebody or you sold she it to She wasn't the, to, selling it. No, she was keeping was it for keeping herself. keeping it for myself. Yeah. I was not a you wouldn't, you booster. Sell no. No, I needed it. Whatever I stole, for her, I wore. Herself or her baby. Son, um, my sister came and stayed with me when she got pregnant. It was still for me, my son, my sister, and then her baby. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's wild. And then basically y'all be clean as hell. I'm talking about come clean. that come that come that weekend, everybody popping is kicking it. Everybody clean tags popping everywhere. <laughs> it How was, oh, go it ahead. was more like 
making sure we was tight for the holidays type mm. of thing. Like it was more so that like I didn't just go dry stealing at the mall. But if it wasn't something going on the holidays or Christmas, this then ain't I needed addictive. To get it. Yeah, I just needed to do what I needed to do to mm. survive. Basically. How old was your sister when she got pregnant? 17, I believe. OK. Mm -hmm. Yeah, y'all young, light skinned, and walking around. Yeah, the niggas down there in Louisiana were happy, boy. Y'all was looking good to them. Had them new you. clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.